Yo, what is up, Knights of Apollo? How's it going, guys? Hope you're doing well, and welcome back to Brennan Inveth, episode 26. We just had a huge battle against the Southern Empire, uh, the rival in terms of power to our Grand Empire, and it's going well. I mean, we are just cutting through them like a, a hot knife through butter, essentially. Uh, it's going so well. So... Uh, we're going to continue that war today. Now, in the previous episode, I asked you guys if I should branch off and make my own kingdom. Well, I am recording this episode before I release the last episode. So I don't really know what you guys are going to say yet. But I I'm not going to make any decisions in this one. But I will look over what you guys have to say. I mean, look at all this. It's kind of ridiculous. We might have to give some of these cities away. I mean, look at this. Look at all these cities. Yeah, we might have to give some of those away. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, I'll think it over and we'll see where we go from there. Again, Brendan Inveth, character wise, he's not seeking glory. He's seeking destruction. That's, that's all he's, he's seeking. Uh, so yeah, let's jump back into this episode, guys, and see if we can continue to, um, push the Southern Empire back. Um, we do have a decent force here. We have some lords that still need to join us. They're still making their way to our party. We could siege Volstrom, but I think Volstrom's pretty strong. But, I, you know, after our previous battle, I'm really not that afraid. Um, let's see. Oh, my two-handed leveled up, so that's awesome. I really need to get another point in focus so I can improve my riding. The riding skill needs more focus points. Uh, but we got Berserker. Plus 20% damage with two-handed weapons while you have... Less than half your hit points. Oof. I don't know if I like that. Plus 50% damage with two-handed weapons while you have more than 90% of your... Oh, I see what you're saying. When you have... Okay. Okay, when you have less... I'll take the 15. Does the 15 is it, you have more than 90% of your hit points? I mean, that's... That's pretty good. I, I'm going to go with confidence. Yeah, I like that. Um, so that's, we're going to get pretty nasty with the two-handed. We, we might have to find a better two-handed weapon. I know some of you, some people have left comments saying, hey, get a new weapon. I get it. The weapon I have now is pretty good, though. Especially now that I'm getting better at using it. But I'm going to go ahead and let's see if we can recruit. Let's recruit another lord. We might just need a little extra help in taking Volstrom. And we're going to make our way. Oh, there's the Empress's daughter. But yeah, we're going to make our way over to Volstrom and see if we can get some damage done. So we'll have another 100 troops. We still have some wounded troops here. So we're going to have close to like, what, 500 plus forces. They have 667. All right, let's siege it now then. Let's siege it now. Now we got to be careful. Like I said, never put your guard down around... Um, the Southern Empire because they have so many troops even if you win battle after battle after battle they are a big faction and they have a lot of troops under their command so they can easily muster up more troops so we got to be careful about that um, but yeah we're going to siege Volstrom get this one started I'm going to just kind of be observant here let's zoom out get as big of a view as possible and uh, just build our siege equipment and we've got, uh, I don't want the castle, so I'll just vote for you. Again, it's good to vote because you improve your charm, which we really haven't been using our charm too much. We can use charm to, like, convince lords to join us. Uh, like, you know, betray their own kingdom and join ours. I have a feeling one of these armies are going to come over to us and take over. That's okay if that's the case. Oh, we just won a battle. Look at that. We just won a big battle. Oh, the Volandians. Okay. I'm done here. I'm done here. We are done here. I'm going to disband army. Yep. And I'm going to deal. We got to teach them a lesson. So we're going to head back. And the reason I'm just instantly abandoning the war against the Southern Empire is because a lot of my cities are located near Volandian territory. So... Uh, we need to get over it. And I think I'm I'm so confident in my army that I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to fight off any army that the Vlandians sent at us because we have such a professional core. 
Uh, I don't like having all these. I honestly don't want to have too many horse archers, so I'm going to avoid the horse archer. Uh, we'll have a couple. It's it's good to have a couple, but other than that, I don't really like it. Um, We'll go ahead and take these guys in. So we have room for a couple more troops, so we're just going to go and like recruit as we go. Um, just to max out our army. And we, we got to get over there. It's a long journey. Okay, we got some guidance here. Uh, let's do intelligence. You're very sociable. Nice. Okay, very good. You're, you're surfing your crib. Your little crib there. That's very cool. See him surfing? Did you see that? He's surfing on there. Stupid. Alright, so... We're 10 away. 10 away from maxing out our army. And we've got it potentially, I would say, like, let's let's get peace with the Southern Empire. Because we, we're crushing them. And we took, what, three cities from them in a castle? Let's end it now, take what we got, and move on. But here's the thing, guys. The enemy, if you take a bunch from them, and then... Oh, look at they're sieging this guy. What a bunch of jerks. If you, um... Oh, wait. Here we are. Okay. Sorry. We made it to this village. Let's, uh... Recruit some troops. I know these are just a bunch of recruits, but whatever. We'll train them quick. Alright, that's good enough. Let's, let's get over to this city. And then we're gonna siege that castle over there. But we, we should just... We should have peace with the Southern Empire. Like... Even if they take that castle over there that they're sieging right now. There's 20% support. I'm going to just propose it. Ah, oh, dude. Alright, people don't like that. Yeah, I, I had to give it a try. I had to give it a try. That's right. I have so much influence. I, I, I can do so much. A ransom offer. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. We got to get over to the other side of Calradia. So yeah, uh, I forgot to mention this, but make sure you get some uh, snacks and drinks for this episode. Like all episodes. I'm actually drinking um, some hibiscus tea right now. It's called Zesty. It's like, I think it's just called like Zesty. I, I forgot the company that makes it, but I, I love hibiscus tea. It's really good for you. It like lowers your your blood pressure and stuff. It's a, it's a good calming I think it's one of those things that you can't drink too much because it's uh it's some of these like herbal teas like if you drink too much they can kind of hurt your uh kidneys a little too much so i just drink one i have one big mug of it uh, when i say mug it's like a thermal mug or whatever it's like a big it's probably worth two mugs worth um but it's only one packet of hibiscus tea and uh i think as long as you drink a lot of water with it too you know make sure you're drinking lots of water it helps out your kidneys and stuff um, uh, but yeah, it's really good. I put some pomegranate in it as well. So tasty. Oh, hey, look, one of my wanderers are here. Um, what we can do is get her to lead her own army. So take her to the party and then I'm going to tell her to go lead an army to glory. So we'll go to the parties, create a new party. We could probably deck her out in armor and stuff, but I'm too lazy. There you go. And yeah, we're uh, helping expand the uh, Batanian numbers. Alright, let's see what uh, what the Valandians can do to us here, huh? Yeah, there you go. We're going to go straight in. Uh, I think they took a castle. Did they take the castle? or we do Yeah, they took this castle here. That's fine. They're, they're basically attacking an empire that's focused elsewhere. Um... And, and also, the Southern Empire took back this castle. This is why we need peace. 48%. I'm going to try to do it again. There we go. Boom. You can hate me all you want, dude. You got tunnel vision, Caladog. You got to focus on the Volandians, okay? Because uh, they're, they're pushing. I love this castle too over here. It's it's so Helm's Deep in Calradia. If there's a Calradia Helm's Deep, it's this. I mean, look at this. Nestled into this mountain. Hungrad. Hungrad Castle. So we're going to go get this for ourselves. 
But yeah. Yeah, that's uh, I guess that's enough of the tea talk. I don't really do uh, teas with... Uh, I don't do like real tea. You know, like herbal tea is just kind of like flowers and stuff. But I don't really do... Um, I don't do like green tea or black tea or anything like that just because i i just i can't do the caffeine like even when i drink coffee it has it has to be decaf like i i don't get i, I don't necessarily envy people who can drink coffee at night and go straight to bed but dude for me going to sleep is like a it's like a herculean feat you know what I mean? Like it, it, like the moons have to align for me to get a good night's sleep. And I do everything. Like I work hard to make sure I get, because sleeping is really important to your health. And you want to make sure you get at least, at least seven hours a night. Um, but I try to, uh, I have a sleepy time tea. So um, yeah, it, basically it has a bunch of like lavender and like stuff that helps you sleep. Um, I work out in the mornings. So I get tired at night. Because if I don't, if I do like a, so every morning I do like a uh, hour and 30 minute walk. It's about three or four miles and I have to do that. Now, of course, if there's bad weather, I don't do it. But uh, if it's good weather, I have to go out and get my morning sun because it just makes me feel, so, it's like, I don't know. I crave it as much as I crave like a piece of chocolate cake. You know what I mean? Like every morning I got to get my walk in because... It just makes me feel so much better. And it's kind of like a me time thing. I get out, I put some headphones in, I listen to some podcasts or videos or whatever. Uh, and it's just, it's my time alone, walking, feeling the sun, feeling the breeze, listening when I can to birds chirping. So um, yeah, I love, I love the walks. Anyways, I, I also read at night as well. That's when I do most of my reading. Oh, look, look who's coming to join me. He's, he's come to take all the glory. That's all right. That's fine. You can take it. Good luck. I'm going to go elsewhere. Remember, we want to push our forces as much as possible. I don't really... You know what? Let's go on defense here. But yeah, uh, anyone who's listening to this, and I'm sure there's people out there. I mean, if you struggle with mental health, like I, I personally deal with a lot of anxiety, like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot to the point where like, a lot of times I don't want to go anywhere. Um, but one thing that's really... Now, there's many things you can do. And there's many things you should do to improve your anxiety. But uh, if there's one thing... Uh, we'll say two things. We'll say three things. Three things. Super easy. Super easy and things that you'll really enjoy. Like, it's not like doing homework or something that's a hassle. One, go for a morning walk. Whenever it's the sun's out, go for a morning walk. Okay, here we go. There's a big, pretty big cab force here. Oh, they're going to take it. I mean, do I dare? Do I dare? I think I do. I think I do. I'm going to sneak in. Before we go in, I'm going to upgrade. Actually, oh, that's a great idea. Okay, I'm going to... So let's upgrade these troops. We'll get back to that conversation, guys, because I, I want to help as many people as possible here. Um, okay, so... Um, I'm going to take all these guys in. Call me crazy. But this is going to help. So let's break in to help the, the defenders. Nice. Alright, let's go fight this. Um, but yeah, so three things. Go for a nice morning walk. Get some morning sun. All right, so vitamin D makes you happy. Everything like that. Put on some sunscreen, of course. You know, especially if you have pale skin. Um, number two, um, drink caffeine-free tea. Not as in, not decaffeinated. Like, don't take green tea that's been decaffeinated. That's full of chemicals and the weird processes. But drink, like, tea that's, like, a herbal relaxing tea like chamomile or hibiscus or something with lavender or whatever. Uh, and then number three is reading. Read. Make sure you find a good book. All right. Read a good book. Uh, something. It doesn't have to be anything f sophisticated or you don't have to look, you know, like you're a, 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 an intellectual or anything. Like right now, I'm reading the... Uh, 
you know, you can make fun of me all all you want, but I'm reading the Harry Potter books because I actually have never sat down and read past the first two. So it's like, you know what? I'm just every night I'm going to get on for or get on like it's a video game. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to sit and that I'm going to sit in bed with a little nightlight and I'm going to read Harry Potter, you know, it, I also read other stuff. So in case you are like, you know, I read stuff like, um, I just bought the book from, uh, from Chesterton orthodoxy. So I'm going to be reading that pretty soon. Anyways, just like, and it doesn't have to be Harry Potter. Maybe you think Harry Potter's stupid or whatever. I don't, you know, but find something like, uh, the halo, like maybe you're a big halo fan, but you never read the books, read the halo books. Those are really easy to read. They're just like junk food reading. You know, and I say that in a, in a good way, like, when I say junk food, I mean like, you know, oh my gosh, someone went flying there. Uh, what I mean by that is that, like, read something that's easy and fun. It's still good for you. It's still good for your brain, and why, the reason it helps your anxiety is because a lot of your anxiety just comes from thinking too much, and there is just like working out your muscles your brain in a way acts like a muscle where if you challenge your brain all day with like mentally challenging things like crossword puzzles reading um you know whatever wh like think of anything and uh by the end of the day you will you won't your brain will be too tired to think of bad horrible scenarios you know what i mean uh, and eventually if you do this over and over and over and you build a habit of it and I'm talking every day like Finding activities that really challenge your mind and there's gonna be days where you're just too tired and You don't want to do it and you could just say to yourself. Okay. All right Well, I guess I'll just keep suffering with anxiety because my brain craves knowledge it craves a workout and you need to give your brain that workout or it's going to find other things to do to work itself out which is think of catastrophic catastrophic events or whatever um and give you severe anxiety so you need to just you need to just like get your brain working and one great way to do that is uh through reading uh mix that with having a nice warm glass of uh calming tea i mean seriously guys or do that after a walk you know, go for a good walk, get a nice tea, open up a book, a good adventure, a, good, a big tall glass of adventure, all right? And you're going to be feeling so much better. Now, of course, these things take time, you know? some Not everybody has the time to go for a, an hour and a half walk. But even if you just get like a five-minute walk in, it's better than nothing. Uh, anyways, yeah. Uh, I have I've gotten a lot better since doing that my thinking i think after like once you do it for like a month you rewire your brain to like because right now if you have like anxiety ridden brain it just automatically goes to bad thoughts but if you rewire it with like keeping your brain busy you start you start thinking more positively and, and more you have more confidence in yourself and everything like that so um I don't know. I know I should be talking about the game right now, but this is something I'm passionate about. And I just, if I can help anybody, then, then so be it. But yeah, find some hobbies too. Like find some very, um, hobbies that, uh, make you really excited. Like for example, golf. For me, golf is a hobby that I get super pumped about. Like I try out new golf balls. You know, I play at different golf courses. I, I play with some friends and it's nice to socialize with my friends and just goof around on the golf course and you know I try to get it's a game where you try to get better and everything if you can find that like maybe you want to go fishing maybe you do hunting maybe you know everything has like a set of things that you can do research on like for example if you go fishing you can you can do research on different fishing rods and baits and and you know uh, locations and rivers and or if you go, uh, um, you know, what else can you do hobby wise? I mean, you could play disc golf, how to get better at disc golf, you know, and then you just immerse yourself with that. You, you, and then you just get so excited about it. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, by the way, I'm not a professional or anything like that when it comes to like psychological, you know, help or whatever, but 
Um, these are things that, that really help me. Um, I'm still trying to get better, but I'm still pushing. You just got to push yourself, you know what I mean? And just really be constructive with your life and really, um, you're my prisoner now. I mean, and, and maybe you're like someone who, um, you're someone who, um, maybe you're like bedridden. Like I, I've been there before with anxiety. Like you can get better and you just got to take baby steps and you just got to find hobbies that you can do comfortably. Like, uh, maybe painting, like maybe you have a hard time leaving your house. You know, you're like, you got a little agoraphobia or whatever. Um, just painting, writing poetry, reading, you know, those things will tire out your brain and, um, it'll tire out your brain and, um, you'll be able to think more clearly and more rationally and not be so doom and gloom, which is really what anxiety is it's just it's just bad thoughts and and they're so bad that they make you feel bad and you think something worse is really happening all right anyways i'll end the conversation there i like how we just casually had an epic defense <laughs> uh but it all worked out it all worked out oh my gosh look at this is this oh it's pretty good horse armor i'll take it because it's just worth so much and I'll take all these horses. Look at all these horses, dude. Wow. Oh, dude, this armor. This is this is better armor than I have now. I'll just take like the first, you know, chunk. The first chunk of stuff here. I'm not going to take it all. Okay. Great battle. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry guys if you found that conversation annoying and you just wanted me to focus on the game. Um, but yeah, that's what I did, man. I, I went, I, I still struggle. It's not, you know, life is a struggle, you know what I mean? But you got to just keep going and, uh, there's days where I wake up and as soon as I wake up, man, I just have such horrible thoughts and I was like, oh man, this, it's like, it broke me down to tears because it's like. I'm never get, like you're just haunted by these thoughts and they just never go away and you just have like a OCD about it you know what I mean but I promise you and I'm telling you guys I have I've had like the worst I, I like I'm I'm not I'm not talking about anxiety like you're you're a little nervous about a test coming up or something I'm talking about full-on like I can't drive anywhere I just can't I just I break down into panic attacks or whatever um and um I don't really want this castle I really don't so I'm gonna give it to someone else I have enough I have enough places anyways um uh yeah that's what I, anyway that's what that's all I'm saying is like uh, you know you can do this if you're anyone who's dealing with this but anyway let's, let's jump back into the game I just like to just kind of send a positive message out there because uh, I know how you feel if anyone out there who's really struggling with anxiety trust me dude I know what you're going through. I know. All right. So I'm going to besiege this town. Holy crap. They have 900 troops here. Okay. I'm getting a little too ahead of myself. Ahead of myself? What am I? Multiple people? All right. So let's, uh, let's, let's go ahead and upgrade. Also, I know some people get on here to get away from those things, but again, still hopefully this, this, this brings some some hope to you, something to look forward to. Like, get excited. It's the new year. You're going to get better. You know what I mean? Have faith. You will get better. Let's see. Hit, plus 10% hit point regeneration while traveling. Or plus 10% hit point regeneration while waiting in settlements. So do traveling because I travel more than anything else. Bullseye. Plus 10% bonus for the ranged troops in your party after every battle. Dang. Plus 10% starting... Battle morale for ranged troops in your party. I don't really care about battle morale. So I'll do that. That's right. I, I upgraded my my archery skill. So it looks like these armies are taking back this castle over here. That's good. Let's go look at Ox Hall. This is a cool this is one of my favorite settlements just because of its location. It's a pretty cool spot. Got the bridge, you know, got water everywhere. Um I could muster some forces here to just strengthen my army a little bit 
Okay, and when I say a little bit, I mean a lot of bit. How many defenders do we got here? I just felt like 900 just made me a little bit too uncomfortable, you know? A little too much. This has 700. Let's just chill. Let's just chill. Let's just hang out here and chill. You want? You guys want to attack me? Go for it. But yeah, guys, like seriously, like ever since I, it, it was rough at the start walking, because like I said, I had anxiety. Like I like I couldn't even walk far because I would just like start having panic attacks and stuff. But um, it was that bad. It's that bad. It made me want to break down. But if you just keep pushing yourself and you know you start to build confidence and now walking, like I said, walking. When I first started, I dreaded walking too far away. Oh, let's go help out this army. Too far away from my house. You know, I don't know why. I just had horrible thoughts that I was going to, like, something horrible was going to happen. But it's, it doesn't make any sense. It's sending, just sending the troops. But, um, uh, that goes away. You start to build confidence. And now I look forward to my walks. Like, like I said, like, uh, like it's a, a piece of chocolate cake. You know, like I crave it that much. That, uh, uh, I just, I just, I, and if I don't get my walk in, I feel like utter crap, you know? So that's another reason why I love it so much. I just feel so mellow and chill after the walk. Cause I walk, it's like an hour and a half walk, you know, it's like almost four miles. So also too, I'll like lift weights on top of that. If I really want to make myself tired, um, is he going to join up with me or what? There we go. So we're at 400. So yeah, we, what we want is to try to take Ox Hall here. Yeah, sorry guys. We're all over the place with this episode. You're probably not going to enjoy this one too much. But I just had to... I don't know. I just want to make this more personal. I don't know. I, let's see. I know you guys probably get on to watch me play Bannerlord. I'll just vote for this guy. Why not? Why not? Yeah. Yeah. I might have to do more. I, I might have to just vote for the person that I have the lowest relationship with. Just to kind of improve the relationships. Here we go. Alright, this is good. Let's siege it. Oh my gosh, this is cramped. Cramped. I'm so glad we're at war with the Valandians. It provides, uh, remember, our, one of our end goals here is to defeat the Valandians utterly. So this is going to continue our, our progress towards that. But, yeah, very nice. Very nice. I have a sip of my hibiscus tea. Mm -mm. Still kind of hot. <laughs> Still kind of hot. You don't want to drink your tea too hot. That's the kind of the bad things about this thermal thing I have here. It just keeps it hot way too long. <laughs> way too long. Uh, but that's okay. You just gotta... I just have the top off. It's like a screw on top, you know? I just unscrew it and let it cool. And, uh, yeah. Just let that go. But yeah, very cool. And we have our... I'll probably release the... Uh, the artillery once we get to three then we're gonna build a ram same same setup i've been doing everywhere else build three trebuchet build a ram then build the fourth trebuchet there we go so we can get this show on the road and then we can start building the last one here oh dude come on win 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 yeah he's winning this little side battle there and then he's gonna join us right yeah got us up to 700 all right, so now what we need to do... What, are, what is the bounce of power? It's actually not that great. We should probably build... We should probably build siege towers. And I'm going to build some catapults whenever these start to uh, crumble. What do we got? Oh, new castle. All right, so who do we have the worst relationship with? So we got seven with him. We have 100 with him. An 18. So let's uh let's improve it with this guy. There we go. Nice. Yes. That's how that's how we should always do it. Just make them happy, you know. So I don't necessarily want to destroy the walls, but that might happen here. I mean, I could be tactical about it. Whatever. 
we destroy the walls, we destroy the walls. We're just gonna take this slow here. You know, this is what we're gonna do. do they, they still have food. I don't want to starve them out because that kind of hurts... Hurts our chances here. Let's go ahead and move that re to reserve. Let's build another catapult here. Let's try to have two catapults and the, and the walls destroyed. And then we're going in. Then we are going in. Okay. Nope. Destroy it. Come on. Destroy it. There we go. So sun's still out. We destroyed both walls. We have two catapults. That should be good enough at doing a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and upgrade some troops. And we also have a lot of space for troops. So I'm going to up my army size. We also... Somebody's leveled up. Ah, you're engineering. Plus 30% hit points to defensive siege engines. Honestly, build speed. Let's get that build speed. Yeah, and up that... Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, We're outnumbered by 30 men, but we got two catapults. We have all kinds of siege equipment. Let's go see if we can do some damage here. So, here we go. Okay, guys. So, we're ready to go. Army's in place. Ready to attack. Uh, you know, not to go on about the whole, like, getting better thing, but, like, another great thing you can do, guys, is eat better and cut out sugar as much as possible in your diet. Obviously, you need a little bit of sugar, right? A little bit of sugar is, you know, it's good for you. Your body kind of needs sugar. You need some carbs and everything like that. But when you have an excess amount and uh, you're eating so much sugar, and sugar is just a poison, really. I mean... It, especially this po processed sugar like if you get it in fruits and stuff it's still you know too much sugar from fruits is still bad for you but it's way better than like oreos right so yeah just cutting out sugar is gonna be great it's gonna like sugar gives you it's kind of you know sugar gives you that burst of energy and stuff and and it's not good and then you have like a sugar crash and it's just it's not yeah obviously it's not good for you so cutting that out even or less just having less of it you know it doesn't mean you can't have like you know a chocolate bar every once in a while or something but yeah anyways let's get into this fight if we can it doesn't look like we can eh, this is not going well guys this is not going well um you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna reorganize we need to we need to reorganize we're gonna put these troops over here do not charge through those breach points we'll turn this around we're gonna just go through the gate we're just charging through the gate that's where our big assault we did this last wait they have a catapult i thought we destroyed all their catapults oh geez that's not good that is not good all right that's okay we're doing okay how many have we lost we've lost zero personally well, we lost one, but he's not dead. He's just wounded. So we're going to wait for the gate to open, and then we're going to go through the gate, because even though they can... Oh, my gosh. Stop it. What a shot. Yeah! Take that. Oh, this ram's almost destroyed. Get out of here. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, crap. Bring it down. Bring it down. I'm just going to tell everyone to charge in. Hopefully, they charge through the gate. Dang, dude. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow. Break it down. Hurry. I, I, I thought we destroyed all the... Okay. Infantry. Okay. Infantry. Infantry. Soldiers. Move. Can we get you in here? Or? Move. So soldier move. There. Set up there. 
All right, infantry charge. Okay, never mind. Are we bringing this down or what? Oh my gosh, guys. What the hell? Infantry. They're charging out. Charge, everyone. I mean, that's that's awesome. Attack. Look at them. They're charging out. Are they... Oh, they're... What are they doing? What are you doing? Look at them. What the hell? Okay. Oh, crap. Damn. Well, um, this just saved the battle. This just saved the battle, like, big time. We are. We've killed 346 now. And then we're. We're going to attack over here. Okay, so this this siege went from disaster to victory so fast. Look at this. We're in the walls now. We're in the walls. Now, don't get me wrong. We've lost a lot too, but yeah, that's it. That's... <laughs> I don't know why they sallied out, but I, is that an exploit? If you tell them to charge and then cancel the charge, that might force the enemy to charge out. I could be mistaken, and maybe we just got lucky here. But yeah, that's all I did. I told everyone to charge, thinking that they would charge through through the gate. But instead, it I told them to stop because they were going they weren't going through the gate. And once I told them to stop, the enemy charged out. So. Here, we'll just send the troops. Yeah, whatever. Go in there, clean them up. There we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. We'll take all the prisoners because then we'll just drop them off. Woo! Uh, sorry. That was not a great battle on my end. Personally, I didn't really perform there. Like, strategically or well on the battlefield but dang dude that was awesome so let's go to the keep go to the um not the garrison we want to go to the dungeon donate prisoners i'm gonna keep these guys i'm just gonna i'm gonna donate the lowly prisoners there we go it's kind of free up that space we're just going to wait here for a little bit. Let the army rest after after such a battle. Cuz that was a that was a mess. Uh but nonetheless a victory. Oh, we need to take Craven. We need to let's take this castle too. I hate when like we we have castles that aren't connected. Yes, this is good. This is good. New owner I don't want it to be me. So we got this guy at 15, this guy at 97. We'll give it to the 15 guy. Boom. Charm is now 198. Almost at 200. Cool. So we're going to leave now. So that's his problem. That's his problem. Let's go take this castle. We're taking it all, baby. We're taking it all. Oh, there's an army of 619 over here. Ooh. Army's fully healed. Do we have any prisoners that want to join us? No, but we've got army troops that we can level up. Question is, do you think we can beat these guys? They've got... 334 infantry, 132 range, and 153 cav. Yeah, I, I'm not going to risk it. 
He's going to he's going up here to siege. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna watch him. Go ahead and up the cohesion here. We're gonna just we're gonna stay close. So they're going through the trees. We're near 700 troops marching around. Let's just hope m my fellow lords do what they need to do. And they take out some cities. I don't want to get too close because he can easy easily turn on us. Alright. We got some units. To up our strength. Yeah, it looks like he's legit going for this castle. All right, I'm going to try to pass him here. Watch this. We're going to use the trees because we can move faster in the trees. Oh, where are you going? Oh, we got to use this road. Okay, we can't pass him. I thought we could go up here, but the mountain is making that impossible. That's okay. We don't need to be in the castle to defend it. We're just going to we're just going to chill here. We're gonna chill here and we're gonna wait for them to commit. I, don't, I just don't want to lose any territory. I feel like this is. I can't imagine them having many more armies like this. So if we can actually destroy this, uh, I think it's this. The rest of this is gonna be clean pickings. Clean pickings right here. We're just gonna wait for them to attack. There's 179 defenders here. What the hell is your problem? Why did you charge in? You madman. Dude just charged in. I guess he was thinking I was going to charge in too. I mean, what kind of troops do they have here? Oh. oh okay. They decided to charge. So I'm going to charge in once they have less than... Uh, when they have about 100 defenders. Oh man, they're getting wrecked. Alright, let's go in. Assault the siege camp. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Okay, so we have a hundred cav we have to deal with. Do they outnumber us with cav? No, not surprising. They are the Valandians. Are they charging us? Unbelievable. Alright, let's put our footmen down here. Right? There it is. We're gonna get them in shield wall. Arrows, loose formation. We're going to stretch you out like so. Forward! Here we go. Get up there. Cool. And they're coming to us. Infantry! Get our infantry in a shield wall. Or, oops. Infantry! Shield wall. Raise your shields! Riders! All right, riders. Move! Cavalry! Kill them all! Get in there, Cav. Where's my other Cav? You guys are outnumbered, but I'll help. We're outnumbered, but my quality troop is way better. This army's pretty pretty pathetic. Get the horse archers going. Soldiers, Give Charge. Yeah. Even though they had a big army, it wasn't that good. If I was one of their archers back there, you see him standing back there, I'd be running right now. I could see the writing on the wall. I'd be like, I'm out. All right. Let's charge these archers. All right, cool. Heck yeah.
You know, here's another tip for when you're dealing with stress and anxiety. Run down archers in Bannerlord. It is very satisfying. Very satisfying. This also feels very realistic. That, like, historically speaking, especially with medieval battles, battles were pretty low kill. Like, there wasn't a ton of kills until the front line collapsed. You know, once the one infantry line collapsed, then it was just fair game for the archers and the cav to do all their work. You know, like, archers will shoot enemy infantry running away. The cav will run them down. So, yeah. It's kind of cool, you know? Kind of lifelike. All right, cool. We lost three there, but that's okay. That was a nice victory. Defended our territory, took out a huge, another huge chunk of troops. And now we can, uh, we can keep pushing. So we got some prisoners naturally naturally it was nice this was this has been a nice episode so far because uh oh we unlocked 41 troops we can now have 310 troops what the heck what the heck we just must we must have leveled up something here that's insane we can have so many troops now oh my gosh all right heck yeah heck yeah that's sweet all right so we'll take the top stuff here all right and then we'll take the food and whatever you guys can have the rest Oh yeah, uh, leadership skill? No, that's that's not us. We must have leveled up in something here. Our two-handed. Oh, nice. Okay, we can finally improve the horse riding. Um, let's improve. Let's get this to five. This is our main bread and butter. Let's see. Pro projectile deflection. You can deflect projectiles with two-handed swords by blocking. Yes, that's so good. Makes it makes us less need a shield, you know what I mean? All right, so we just won a big battle there. Let's just go on the push and take this little uh this is like the Midway Castle. I don't know, it's like on a trail. It's a it's a cool location for a castle. So Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Are you chasing one? Oh, you fool. You absolute fool. Get out of there. Get out of there with that junk. Look, my lords are helping me. Like, they're liking me more. Look, I'm freeing. Oh my gosh, we just unlocked another 38 troops. We still haven't maxed out our army. Guys, we have so many troops now that we're going to be able to... Um, we're going to be able to uh, fight battles without, like, support. Like, we won't even need support soon. Like, this is insane. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. I don't care about this person. Ooh, look at this helmet. It's not as good as what we have, but it's cool. Just, I like to just take a couple things. Ooh, what's this? Is this better than what we have? Yes. Yes, it is. It has less pierce, but I think overall is better. And then, of course, let us take all the food the rest can go to the troops and uh somebody leveled up here so who's this one point for you uh you're a leader of an army so let's just get our, your steward up okay let's keep moving oh let's i'm sure we got a lot of level oh just one okay i thought i Thought they had a bunch of equipment to level up on. Nice. 
All right, let's see if we can take this castle and uh, probably call it an episode because we are reaching the the end here. So we should be able to build the... Uh... Okay, I was like, if they're going to siege here, I'll let them do it. But we should be able to build the siege equipment really quick here. We'll see. Because we, because our engineer, we leveled up. We can get more troops. We're still not even... We're, we're close to maxing out our army, but we need like another 13 troops to max out. That is insane. Oh, come fight me. Yeah, come on. We have even armies. You won't do it. Yeah, coward. Coward. Look at him. He's just going to go back and forth like the coward he is. See, someone else leveled up here. Oh, wow. Actually, a lot of leveling up. So you got your steward. Good on you. You need to get this up. Um, we're, We'll worry about that later. Oh, uh, my fighter leveled up. Let's see. Plus 30 battle morale. Um... Effect on friendly troops, that's pretty good. Plus 20% battle morale effect on enemy troops with your two-handed skills. So let's just do hope. And here we go. All right. And let's get the footmen. How many archers? We got a, yeah, we got a pretty even spread here. I like that. It's nice. That's pretty good. Oh, that sucks. Sucks for your caravan, sucker. Sucker. Alright, so... Once this is built, we can start bombarding. We're gonna build the ram, and then we're going in. Going in, baby. Run! Run for your life! Nice. Heck yeah. Now, I am I need to make sure I actually destroy all siege tower or siege equipment because, dang, dude, that sucked. Last time they had one. All right, let's go in. We destroyed everything, right? Yes. We got the ram. Yes. Let's fight. Let's finish this episode strong. All right. I love little castle battles like this one. The Valandian castles are the best in the game. They just look so cool. Really, their settlements in general are the best, in my opinion. I also like the um, the Empire settlements as well. But this is a cool castle. Haha. <laughs> See ya. I'm just, I'm just gonna thread the needle here. It's so nice being so good at archery. Yeah, these guys stand no chance, man. Kind of feel for them. Come on, what you got? What you got? There's no more to kill? Where's the ram? Ram still got a ways to go. Dang, dude. It's like they learned. They learned not to move up near that wall. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attack with the ladders. I don't really want to wait for the ram. This is such a cool castle. Just like it looks like realistically it would be really tough to attack. You know, with the moat, it's got like a moat and Good defensive walls. What the heck's going on here? What's up? 
all these like projectiles here. Are you guys throwing projectiles? No. Oh my gosh, careful throwing those things, man. All right, watch out, watch out, watch out. Trying to thread the needle. What? Alright, I'm gonna go attack with the at this ladder. Time to get up there and crush some faces. Smash face. go we got archers down there I'm just gonna fight from the distance here and go for headshots so I level up my archery even more Like I gotta aim slightly above their heads. And that's that's the sweet spot right there. Cause we have because of the elevation, we don't have to aim as high up because of how you know gravity works. I'm just gonna just gonna blind fire. There we go. Didn't feel comfortable firing too much there because I didn't want to get too many, you know, I don't want to shoot any friendlies. Oh, an invisible wall. That sucks. Look at this multi-layered castle, guys. This is a cool ass castle. Let's go, charge! Hello. Or I feel bad for these Valandians, man. Like these poor men. I mean, they're just doing what they're ordered. They stand no chance. Ah. Hold on. I want to get him before he escapes. Ah, he got out. All right. Cool battle. We only lost 39. Another castle is ours. Let's go. So, guys, I think this will be a good stopping point for today's episode. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed the chat. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys. And, of course, I enjoyed expanding our ter territory in Calradia. Uh, let's just go ahead and deal with the prisoners here. We'll take what we can. And uh, banner of the night. Sure, I'll take that. And I'll take that and take the green. Because why not? Uh, we could have took more. Whatever. It's fine. We have so much money. So, guys, we'll end it here. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Um, and, yeah, maybe very soon we are about to destroy... The Valandians, uh, they only have, at this point, they only have uh, one, two, three castles in three cities. So that's a total of six settlements that we have to get. Unless we get a peace treaty soon, we might destroy the Valandians in the next episode. It could be very possible. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in Calradia.